So tell us all about this suit. What is it? What's it called? Why do you use it? Where do you use it? And how do you use it? So this is my Sokol spacesuit, um, only used for the emergency situation that the air would actually leak out of the spacecraft. So we wear it for the dangerous times, the times when you're most likely to leak the air out. That's the launch, the docking, and then the landing again. And as soon as the launch is finished and you can unstrap from the seats, it's about two and a half hours after the launch, but nonetheless, yeah. as soon as that's done, then you can take off your spacesuit. Okay. Big blue valve on the front is really useful so that if you do inflate the spacesuit yeah. and then you have to do some manoeuvre, um, which is going to be really difficult to do because you've inflated, um, then you can use that valve to decrease the pressure inside it. Yeah. So you can decrease the pressure, you check this little valve then on the suit's arm to see what pressure you've decreased it to. Okay. Um, and from memory that goes down to about 0.26 of an atmosphere. But that's not really very much oxygen to breathe. Yeah. So you can do that for only a short time before you then need to rest again and then use this big blue valve on the front to increase the pressure back up to 0.4 of an atmosphere and then that's enough for you to breathe to, um, to survive and you can do that repeatedly until you've got the manoeuvre done that you need to do. If one wanted to go and get a spacesuit, <laughs> where, where would you go? It really is, it's made to measure. I mean, I've never had a suit me measure. Me neither. Made, no, made no. Like that. It's, they, they measure you in so many different places. It's done in the same factory where they made Gagarin's spacesuit, where they made even Leica's spacesuit. So you feel rather special that you're taking part in this historical process. Yeah. One thing that really strikes me sort of being here, looking at the Cosmonaut exhibition in particular, is that the beginnings of our exploration of space, going back to 1957 with Sputnik, happened in the same place and we're pretty much using the same equipment as, we, as we're using from back then. I mean, this suit is very similar to Gagarin's suit and, and Tereshkova's suit. Tereshkova was very much part of the Soviet political system then, so she uh, had to, um, to do what they were asking her to do in terms of promoting what she had done. And she gave me advice before my launch. She came to the, um, the champagne breakfast to formally send me off. But many times while I was there, she would pop round and, and, and just, just for a chat and, yeah. and make sure everything was fine. A very, very kind person. And to have people like that who could be so, if you like, so proud and, and above it all, who are just actually um, getting on with life as normal people, is, is so nice. Yeah. We've got all of that propaganda from the US about going to the moon. I remember as a child saving silver milk foil tops to make a picture of an Apollo spacecraft. But we didn't get the Soviet propaganda because they just chose to keep it to themselves. And we missed out on so much. And it was only actually when I was there, I realized how significant what they had done. They were the first people in space. They got the first spacewalker, the first woman in space. Um, they were the first to do, to do so much. And yet here I am talking about my spacesuit in such an amazing uh, historic exhibition. Um, it's, it's just a, an amazing thing for me to do. Um, and just, I'm just so honored that a little bit of me is part of it. <laughs>